What's going on guys? On a previous video, we started working with Deno and we created a simple API using Oak framework. Oak is a middleware framework for Deno's HTTP server that includes a router middleware. In this video, we're going to refactor the code of our application in order to use Dactyl. Dactyl is a web framework that is built on top of the Oak framework. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, this is the code of our API where we are importing these two classes, application and router from the Oak framework. Here is where all the classes are exported. And here we are also importing these two functions from this bands file where we have our controller, let's say. What we're going to do is actually we're going to refactor this code and we're going to create a class and we are going to use Dactyl that provides multiple decorators to define the different endpoints. So we are going to replace these routes here with decorators within our controller. So I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to call it band controller .ts. And I'm going to create a new class. This will be class band controller. And here I'm going to use a decorator that is a controller decorator, controller. And here I'm going to specify the route to this controller that will be slash bands. I'm going to use the same route that I specify here, but just adding this decorator. Okay, and I need to import this controller from the Dactyl library. So import controller from, and the URL for this will be here. I need to go to the third party modules in Deno. I need to find this Dactyl framework here, and I need to go to the mod file. I need to grab this from here. And here we can see all the things that are exported. In particular, we're going to use this controller. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to import it here. Okay. Okay, so here we're gonna have the same. I'm going to grab this from here. I'm going to paste it here. And this will be a private property where I'm going to store the bands. Okay, and first I'm going to create a new endpoint that will be get bands. I'm going to create a method for that. And this method is going to return this array from here. So this will be return. And I'm going to return two properties here. Success. And the data that will be this dot pants. And here I'm going to add some decorators. First, the HTTP verb for this endpoint that will be at get. And this will be slash. And here I'm going to also specify the HTTP status code. HTTP status. And this will be 200. And here I'm importing all these three decorators. And here I get an error, experimental support for decorators is a feature that is subject to change. Okay, so in order to be able to run this, we need to create a JSON file. So I'm going to create it here. This will be tsconfig.json. And here I need to add, here it is. We need to copy these compiler options. We need to set through this property, experimental decorators, and also this one, emit decorator metadata. So I'm going to grab this from here, and I'm going to paste it here. And we need to pass this as a parameter when we run the application. Okay, let's go back. And here we're going to add another endpoint that will allow us to create new bands. So this will be add bands. Here we're going to use 
the post HTTP verb. So this will be at post. This is the decorator that we're going to use here. This will be slash. So here we are going to use two special classes from oak, oak request and oak response. Remember that this tactile framework is based on the oak framework. So here we're going to use the oak request class and the oak response class. So here we are going to add two new decorators. The first decorator will be at request. And this will be request. And here we import oak request. So we're going to need to import that from the oak library. So this will be import oak request from, and here I'm going to grab the URL. Okay. And this is the URL where all the oak dependencies are declared. Let me move this here. I'm going to add also add the response decorator. This is at response. And the response will be of type oak response. Oh yes, this is actually request. This is actually a request. The thing is that there is a conflict because this request is part of the dactyl library. And this request here is part of the oak library. So this is request as oak request. And this is response as oak response. Here I need to create these two aliases, let's say. Here I need to import this request and this response from tactile. So this is request and response. Okay, and here for the code of this method, this advanced method, I'm going to grab everything from here, where I am basically taking the body from the request, doing some validations, and returning the result once I create the band. So I'm going to grab this from here. And I'm going to copy that here. And I'm going to make some changes. OK, and here I need to import this before library to generate the random identifier using the UID. And yes, I'm going to grab this from here. Sorry, from here. And yes, I also need to import this band from here. I'm going to do that. Okay. okay, so I'm going to remove this file. We're not going to use it anymore. Let's go back to the server. Let's remove that from here. And let's remove the router. And we are not going to use any of this. So here I'm going to import the application from the Dactyl framework. So from and I'm going to use this URL from here. Let's go back and I'm going to paste that here. And I'm going to use the band controller that I just created here. So this will be import then the controller from and this is controllers slash band controller dot ts and here I'm going to create a new constant to create the app so the application and I'm going to create a new application Remember that this is a dactyl application. So here I'm going to pass the controllers. In this case, we only have one controller. So I'm going to pass it here. This is band controller. 
And here, if I forgot to export this class, so I'm going to do that here. This will be export default bang bang controller. And now, if we go back, we should be good to go. Here is not listen, is run, and we just pass the port like this. Okay, and now we are good to go. We basically are specifying what are the controllers that are going to be part of the application. And here within the controller, we specify that we're gonna have this bands endpoint with two HTTP verbs or two endpoints to get existing bands and another one to create new bands. And here I forgot to, yes, this will be this dot bands. Okay, now let's run this. And this will be then a run. We need to specify allow, allow net. We need to pass this tsconfig.json as the configuration. So this is config equals tsconfig.json and the file of the server that is server.ts. Okay, and here I got some errors from the main version of Oak. So I'm going to use a different version and I need to change the dependency from here. So this will be at, and I'm going to use this version, b5.1.0. I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this again. Okay, here I have an issue the await, oh yeah, okay, so I need to make this async. So if I add async here, async, that should work. Let's run this again. Great. And here we have our DuckTail application up and running. Here we have the base URL of the API, and we have these two HTTP methods, get and post. So let's go to Postman and let's run the get HTTP request. And we're going to get an empty array here as part of the data. I'm going to create a new band using this name, this gender, and this website. So let's run this. And as we can see here, we get a successful response that includes the data and the random identifier. And if we go back to the get endpoint and I run this, now I get the array with the band that I just created. So that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.